Since then, the football final has become more than just a game. It is a week of feverish excitement, a festival. This we owe to Calgary, who today meet the Ottawa Rough Riders in the 1968 final. What settled the outcome of the game, Calgary coach Jerry Williams said, Oh, I'd say the final gun. kicks off to Calgary. In 1948, when these two teams met, it was a low-scoring contest with Calgary winning 12-7. Today, every prediction points toward a high-scoring game. The Ottawa defense is out to avenge a regular season loss to the Stampeders, which saw them waste a 14-point lead and wind up on the short end of a 27-24 score. Stopping Calgary means stopping the accurate passing of Peter List. In quarterbacking the Stampeders to their first Western Conference title in 19 years, Liss compiled an over 60% completion average while throwing for 31 touchdowns. The Cowboys' performance today rests in the sure hands of their receivers. Tight end Herman Harrison, split end Terry Evanson, Halfback Bob McCarthy and flanker Jerry Shaw. To bury his attack, Lisk must rely heavily on the rushing ability of halfback Ted Woods and rookie Rudy Litterman, who fills in for the injured Dave Cranmer. But late in the first quarter, Litterman is injured and must leave the game. Defensively, the Stampeders gave up less yardage than any team in the CFL during 1968. Today, they must stop the most varied offense in the Canadian Football League. Known as a quarterback who likes to throw long, Russ Jackson's favorite targets are flanker Whit Tucker, split end Margie Atkins, and tight end Jay Roberts, number 76. Jackson's also respected for his running ability. He led all CFL rushers on average in 1968 with almost 10 yards per carry. The 
The Ottawa backfield is a fast crowd. Halfback Bo Scott amassed over 900 yards and ranked fourth in the league, second in the East. Rookie Vic Washington ranked third in the East in total yardage while averaging over six yards per carry despite his mid-season switch from defense to offensive halfback. But Calgary contains the Riders' potent runners throughout the first quarter for a net loss of nine yards. Bottled up in the shadow of their own goalposts, Calgary escaped with a mere single point when they fell on a blocked punt behind their own goal line. The strong Stampeder defense forced Ottawa to attempt three field goals. Don Southern, who picked his way to the Eastern Scoring Championship, was wide on each try. Early in the second quarter, he connected with his fourth attempt to make the score Ottawa 4, Calgary nothing. The first real break of the game comes on a second down play at the Ottawa 35-yard line. With Calgary linebacker Wayne Harris charging in on a middle stunt, Jackson pulls back from center before he has possession of the ball. Granville Liggins, 51, dives for it. In the ensuing scramble, the ball is recovered by Harris, 55. The Stamps now have the ball on the Ottawa 52. List with second and nine floods the zone to his left. Jerry Shaw, hooking back, gains a step on the riders' Bill Cooper, who draws an interference penalty at the Ottawa 37. Again? I don't know. Super slow motion reveals defensive back Don Southern 14 actually deflects the ball. Shaw, recovering quickly, moves to his right to make the reception. Cooper commits himself too soon, leaps and brushes Shaw on the way down. First down play, Lisk rolls to the right, away from his strength. And hits Shaw on the short side of the 21-yard line. The spotlight camera follows Shaw as he breaks downfield, then cuts for the sideline, beating Billy Cooper. Again, let's to the short side. The formation goes left while he drops straight back. The pass through the hands of Wayne Giardino into the arms of Bob McCarthy at the five-yard line. First and goal at the five. Lisk fakes a running play and rolls out behind the moving backfield. His pass is headed for Bob McCarthy, incomplete. But Ottawa is called for interference. The isolation camera catches McCarthy as he breaks down and out toward the far corner of the end zone. He's held just over the goal line by Joe Poirier. The ball is spotted at the two and a half yard line. Go defense! Come on, Bert! Off a variation of the eye formation, Jerry Watson carries for two yards off tackle. Sending his backs in motion, Liss keeps and goes in for the touchdown. The conversion makes the score Calgary 7, Ottawa 4. On the kickoff, Washington slips on the soft turf. 
Billy Cooper picks the ball up on the two. Doug Speck, 43, throws a fine peelback block, but Cooper is hopelessly hemmed in. With the goal line at his back, Russ Jackson keeps the ball on the ground. He calls on Washington, but big Granville Liggins, 51, sits in behind the blocking to stop him after two yards. The Stampeder defense keeps the pressure on. Wayne Harris, 55, throws Washington for a one-yard loss. The Riders have to kick. Jerry, he says, he says uh, roll ladder left, turn, check down. Turn, check down. Hey! Yeah. Gary Watson takes a pitch out around end for two yards. Ottawa offside on the play, and the ball is spotted on the 48. It's Watson again. This time, both ends are tight and a trap up the middle. Good for 10 yards as number 58 guard Bob Luke delivers the key block. List fakes his fullback up the middle once more, but finds Bob McCarthy open, running as part of a three-man flood pattern on the short side. It's good for 17 yards and a first down on the rider 21. List gets Terry Evanson on a stop-and-go pattern that puts him in the end zone behind the deep defenders. The end zone camera catches Evanson breaking downfield in a stop and go to beat the safety man, Bill Van Berkeley. <laughs> Robinson's conversion is good, and in less than two minutes, Calgary has scored twice to lead the Rough Riders 14 to 4 at halftime. In the third quarter, second down and 11, Lisk throws complete for 15 yards to Jerry Shaw. The Riders' Billy Cooper makes the tackle near midfield. Ron Stewart is set to punt, but middle linebacker Ken Lehman breaks through, preventing the kick, and the ball goes over to Ottawa at midfield. One of the key plays of the game. Too many guys in there, he's bore you out. Now, with good field position for the first time since the opening quarter, Jackson fakes a counteraction pass and drops back. Defensive pressure forces him to step outside, and he reaches the Stampeder 41. Jackson reveals his second half strategy. This is one of the first games that we've come back in the second half. We've usually uh, been ahead at the first half, a lot of those games we lost, and uh, we, we seem to blow them in the second half. And we were down the 11 to 10 points half time but the guys just seemed to feel that they could do it and uh, when we came out there we changed our game plan we went out there with about uh, maybe nine or ten plays that we were going to run in the second half and uh, they went well we stuck to them this was the big difference a good block by halfback Ron Stewart 11 springs Vic Washington loose for six yards and a pitch out Jackson hands off to Bo Scott, who picks up three. <laughs> J. 
Jackson to Washington. 16 yards and a first down at the Stan Peters 15. The end zone camera shows the play action pass. Scott fakes an off tackle run. Jackson keeps. Throws. Washington runs a follow in pattern that puts him in the clear. Jackson, roll action right. Spots it opening up the middle and collects eight yards. Defensive end Dick Suderman brings him down on the seven. The play again as Jackson with a deft one-handed carry spots an opening and sprints through. On a lead halfback play with wedge blocking, Bo Scott takes the handoff, four yards, and a first down on the Calgary three. Scott again for two. It's second and goal. Jackson takes the ball over on a straight quarterback sneak. Super slow motion shows Jackson's second effort. Southern converts and the score is Calgary 14, Ottawa 11. As the final quarter begins, Ron Stewart punts to Billy Cooper at the Ottawa 27. Now, one of the Grey Cup game's most talked about plays, the Washington bounce. First and 10 at the Ottawa 30. Jackson pitches out to Washington. He fumbles, but it bounces right back into his hands, and he's off and running for 79 yards and a Rough Rider touchdown. The breaks of football in slow motion. Good blocks by Stewart, Bainan, Tucker, and Scott spring him loose. And he turns on the speed to shake off a tackle from Art Frazee and outrun Jerry Keeling. Southern's convert is blocked, and Ottawa leads 17 to 14. Ted Woods takes the kickoff on the nine. He returns at 33 yards to the Calgary 42. At the six minute mark of the fourth quarter, it's Calgary's ball, first and 10 at midfield. List bootlegs left and hits Terry Evanson in a curl in pattern, good for a gain of 20 to the Ottawa 35. List rolls right and throws an end zone pass intended for Jerry Shaw, but Shaw can't hold on. Jerry? Yeah. 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 He'll go, get ready. He'll go. List throws to Shaw again in a curling pattern, but this too falls incomplete.
Third and ten, a field goal situation, a chance to tie the score. Larry Robinson's kick is short. Don Southern picks it off on the ten and makes a fine 14-yard return before he's forced out of bounds. With first and ten at the Riders' 24, Jackson hands off to Bo Scott, who veers outside for a gain of six before Dick Suderman makes the tackle. Washington picks up eight yards and a first down. On second and eight in the 36, the rider backfield is in motion to the right. Jackson rolls out to unleash the long bomb. 40 yards to Margie Atkins. Listen to Russ Jackson. And the third touchdown to uh, Margie Atkins. This is something we've been working on all week. We have been running a certain spread formation with Washington and Atkins and Tucker spread on one side and an ace backfielder in Bo Scott and throwing to one of these three men going off towards the spread side. And this week, early in the week, we put in the play where we would throw against the grain, which is very dangerous because if you throw against the grain and someone intercepts it, it usually results in a touchdown for the defense. But we figured if we threw it deep enough, if they intercept it, Margine had enough speed that he should catch the guy who intercepts it. And this was another of his responsibilities. Convert is good, and Ottawa leads 24 to 14. Needing a touchdown and field goal in the final five minutes to force the game into overtime, Lisk takes to the air. He hits Bob McCarthy on a breakout pattern at midfield. The play covers 16 yards. Lisk fakes a left side sweep and bootlegs to the right looking for Evanson and a curl in. Evanson reaches the Ottawa 33 before being cut down by Gene Gaines at a driving tackle. The Calgary drive continues. Lisk drops straight back and hits Jerry Watson on a checkoff play. Good to the Riders, 21. Lisk rolls right and throws a quick pass intended for Bob McCarthy. Interference is ruled. The infraction in slow motion. Gene Gaines, 22, pushes McCarthy. First down on the Ottawa 9. Lisk strikes quickly, hoping to catch the Ottawa defense off guard, but his pass to Evanshin is picked off by an alert Bill Van Berkeley. An isolated camera, Evanson makes his cut in front of Van Berkeley at the goal line. The rider defensive back leaps high, tipping the ball out of Evanson's hands. The Calgary defense blitzes. 
Don Luzzi, 62, and Terry Wilson, 22, combined to stop Scott. The ball squirts loose. Big Dick Suderman scoops it up and is tackled by Whit Tucker at the 16-yard line. Quick to take advantage of the break, Liss hits McCarthy and a breakout pattern at the five. Two plays later, with third and four, Lisk sends Watson in motion left, runs a quick bootleg and connects on a pass to Evanson in the end zone. The convert is good, making the score Ottawa 24, Calgary 21. As the second stick away, Calgary attempts the onside kick. But it's Ottawa ball with less than a minute and a half remaining. The Calgary defense stops Ottawa cold, and they punt, leaving 24 seconds to play. Lisk has the Stampeders on the march once more, but time runs out on the Western champions. The final gun provides a dramatic close to Canada's 1968 East-West Festival, the Grey Cup. <laughs> <laughs>